Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're so glad that you're here today. My name's Cassie. I'm Gary. And we're Walker Farm Fam. So as you can hear, we got something in the trailer. So we got the trailer hooked up back up to the truck. Uh, it didn't take that long. Instead of hauling off cattle this time, we brought something home. So, uh, you know, I'm always looking for different animals. My cousin contacted us and said she had something for sale and we just couldn't say no. I'm sure you probably saw it on the thumbnail, but we'll show you some footage of when we went and we picked up our new animal for Walker Farm. You see him? Talk to him. You gonna try to get that one? That one's a buck. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we got it all loaded up nice, safe, and sound. Easiest cow we've ever loaded. What do you think, Ransom, about the cow? Um, he almost licked me. Almost licked you? <laughs> she had a big old long tongue, huh? So, <laughs> we do have some pictures of a saddle on this little heifer uh, that we that we got brought home. And there's a chance that maybe someday Ransom could ride her. You think so, Ransom? Yeah, so my cousins have really been working with her. She's just gentle by nature, and but they hadn't done anything in a little bit. So we're going to let her get used to us and then see if we can put a saddle on her and things like that and see what might come out of it. Yep, but right now is really the time to um, put her out to pasture because she's more or less ready to breed and she was showing signs of that there at their house. So um, we're going to let her uh, get acquainted with the cattle and then eventually we're going to try to bring her... Um, bring her into the pen and work with her a little more. Yeah, so she does have some dairy in her. Um, she's dairy Angus Cross, and my cousin had thought about milking her and things. I don't know where if we're quite ready for that. We maybe need to watch the max a little bit more before we dive anything like that. But hey, milking might be in our future too. <laughs> He's back behind me. I figured she would do that. A cow coming out of a trailer usually likes to jump and uh, be a little extra careful. So Moo Moo here is uh, just getting big enough to turn out with the cows. Oh, you dropped it, girl. I don't know if she's ate range cubes before. If you've never ate them, they're pretty big. I've never tried one. You want to try one, Ransom? No? All right, Moo Moo, wanna go see the cows? She got the trailer dirty? Again. Oh, you're gonna have to clean that again. What do you think? It's a hard work. It's a hard work? This time we help us. This time I have to help? Yep. I wasn't home last time, I was kinda happy. Stay back, Ransom. So most likely the cows will be pretty mean to her for the first 30 minutes or an hour, uh, kind of while they get used to her, but that's just kind of their natural tendencies. <laughs> Uh, to establish the herd, um, that pecking order. It happens with almost all animals, and that's probably gonna happen here. So we'll keep an eye on her though, make sure she don't get hurt or anything. But 
she's home now, so we'll see how she does. So we wanted to give you a, a rabbit update. As you can see, we use some sacks and things around um, for um, not really a windbreak, but more of a rain break. We had a lot of rain after um, they were born and we didn't want it blowing in. In the last video, we talked about how she had eight, but she only kept two warm. Lots of you offered advice on things we should or shouldn't do. Um, we've never had a problem with rabbits um, having babies in the winter time, even in the snow. Uh, what we love about rabbits is you give them their nesting box, they do their thing. So I think these are needing some time to settle in and um, they've had quite a few babies this year. So we're going to give them some time and I think everything will be just fine. Um, I'll show you the two that we have. So their mama is a chocolate doe and I'm pretty sure this one is a lavender. We've never have had a lavender or lilac, lilac. And this one's a blue. We've had blues. But they are huge because they are getting as much milk as they want. But you can see the difference in the colors. Um, so lilac and blue is what I think we have going on here. So they do have hair now. The reason that rabbits have to stay so warm is they are born without any hair. So they do have hair now. And um, like I said, we usually put the nesting box in. We put the straw in and then mama does her thing and she pulls fur and covers them up with it. So mama pulled fur and covered these two up and didn't cover up the other six. So kind of what rabbits do is they determine how many babies they can raise or want to raise and they either eat them, the ones that they don't want to raise or they do like she did and just left them out and they got too cold. So um, these two though are fat and healthy and doing awesome. <laughs> so if you missed the video where um, I was showing you where they didn't have any hair and things, go to our last video and you can see what they look like. This one's getting all feisty uh, before they start getting hair. But aren't they beautiful? Hello. So this is Mama and even with babies, she is super friendly. She just has an awesome demeanor. Um, she's chocolate and she did have some chocolate, but um, we had bred her to our blue buck. And so th those are the two that uh, that made it. Um, so I'll also give you a little update on our water because some of you guys were worried they were going to chew it. Um, this is our one of our other blue mamas and that's what color our blue buck is. So if you have rabbits, you know, no matter how much you clean, there's still poop. But these thick rubber um, bowls are doing awesome. We have one who, she's chewed on this one a tiny bit. We have one who's chewed on it quite a bit, but because they're so thick, um, it doesn't matter. They're doing fine. Every so often, one will tip one over or dump it, but for the most part, they haven't bothered them at all. It's been great for the um, freezing weather and things like that. So the rabbits are doing awesome. The feeders and the waterers and different things we use for our rabbits are down in our Amazon store, which is down in our description. So y'all go out down there and check it out if you're looking for anything rabbit related. You gonna come right up to me, baby? You gonna come right up to me? Huh? You gonna come right up to me? Uh. Don't be mad at me, mama. Uh. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Hi, baby. 
You're friendly. Your eyelashes are beautiful. Your mama's gonna get mad. You're okay, mama. I take my hood off so you can see me. Is that better? Hi, baby. Hi, pretty baby. You're all right, mama. Hi, pretty baby. Hi, pretty baby. What you think? Uh, well, she's the one that came over here. I'm just sitting here. You should tell your child to be scared of stranger dangers. I mean, I'm a nice person, but she just met me. Welcome to the world. How's your first day on Walker Farm been? You having a good day? Okay. Well, y'all make yourself cozy, and if you need anything, just let me know, okay? All right. Well, thanks for coming to visit. You gonna get you a drink? So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video of us going over and getting that heifer from my cousin. Um, we're going to let her get warmed up to us and used to us and then we might try to saddle and lead her around and things like that. It's going to be a fun little project and like we said, if we ever decide to milk. Yeah, if you guys think Cassie should become a, a milk lady, <laughs> just put that down in the comments below. I think fresh milk would be ide an ideal thing to have. Um, and she likes to get up before I do it. <laughs> she gets up at like 4 30 and 5 a.m. anyway to go to the bathroom. So while she's up, she might as well just go on out, milk the cow, come back to bed. Anyway, we're excited uh, about this new little project. We'll just see where it goes. Uh, she's a beautiful heifer, and we're glad to add her to our herd. Yeah, and if it doesn't work out, then as, uh, as far as the milk cow, it's fine. She'll just have a home out here in the pasture. Um, the main thing that um, Cassie's cousin did not want was for this animal to go to the butcher so i promised her that if we got finished with her we would sell her we wouldn't butcher her uh that's the only stipulation and uh we'll give her a home here on walker farm i think she'll fit in just fine well thank you guys so much for following along as we brought that heifer home we hope you have a great day and god bless god bless you guys